Hello, everyone. Welcome to our show where we talk about how we spend our days. I'm Emma, and with me is Ava. Today, we're talking about our daily routines. Hi, everyone. Yes, we're going to talk about what we do every day and how we talk about it in English. It's going to be fun. Let's start. Ava, what's the first thing you do in the morning? I wake up, brush my teeth, and eat breakfast. Then I get ready for work. That sounds nice. For me, I wake up, eat breakfast, and then go for a walk. Wow, that sounds relaxing. Do you do anything special during your walk? Yes, I listen to music. It helps me feel happy. That's cool. I like listening to music too. What do you do after your walk? I go back home and get ready for work. What about you? I start working on my computer. I check my emails and make a plan for the day. That's smart. Having a plan helps you stay organized. Yes, it does. What do you do for work? I write stories for children. I love it because I get to be creative. That sounds like fun. I work in a store. I help customers find what they need. That's important too. Helping people is nice. It is, is. Now, let's talk about lunch. What do you usually eat? I usually have a sandwich and some fruit. What about you? I like to have soup and salad. It's healthy and tasty. It sounds delicious. After lunch, what do you do? I finish my work and then go home. What about you? I finish my work too, and then I read a book or watch TV. That sounds relaxing. I like to relax too, after a busy day. Welcome back, everyone. We're glad you're still with us. Let's continue our chat about daily routines. Ava, we talked about our mornings. How about the rest of the day? What do you do in the afternoon? In the afternoon, I usually have some free time. Sometimes I go for a walk or meet friends. That sounds lovely. It's nice to take breaks and spend time with friends. I usually work in the afternoon, but I try to take short breaks to stretch and relax. Taking breaks is important. It helps us stay focused and refreshed. What do you do in the evening, Emma? In the evening, I cook dinner and then spend time with my family. Sometimes we watch a movie together. That sounds like a cozy evening. I usually have dinner with my family too, and then I relax at home. Relaxing at home is nice, especially after a long day. Do you have any bedtime rituals, Ava? Yes, I like to read a book before bed. It helps me unwind and fall asleep. Reading before bed is a great way to relax. I like to listen to soft music or do some light stretching before I go to sleep. Those sound like peaceful activities. It's important to wind down before bed to have a good night's sleep. Definitely. Getting enough sleep helps us feel rested and ready for the next part. Well, that's all the time we have for now. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Hello again, dear listeners. We're back for another segment of our podcast. Today, we want to delve deeper into the importance of daily routines and how they shape our lives. Ava, let's talk about why routines matter. Absolutely, Emma. Routines give us structure and stability. They help us feel more organized and in control of our day. For example, knowing what to expect in the morning can set a positive tone for the rest of the day. That's so true, Ava. Routines can also reduce stress and anxiety. When we have a plan for our day, we feel more prepared to handle whatever comes our way. It's like having a roadmap for success. Exactly, Emma and routines can also foster healthy habits. For instance, if we make it a habit to exercise every morning, it becomes easier to stick to our fitness goals. Yes, consistency is key when it comes to forming habits. And routines can help us stay consistent by providing a framework for our daily activities. But it's essential to find a balance, Emma. While routines can be beneficial, it's also essential to be flexible and open to change. Life is unpredictable, and sometimes we need to adapt our routines to fit new circumstances. 
That's a great point, Ava. Flexibility is just as important as consistency. We need to be willing to adjust our routines as needed while staying focused on our goals. Absolutely, Emma. Now let's talk about how we can articulate our routines in English. For many language learners, describing daily activities can be challenging, but with the right vocabulary and phrases, it becomes much easier. That's right, Ava. Let's start with some basic vocabulary for daily routines. Words like wake up, eat breakfast, go to work, and go to bed are essential for describing our daily activities. Yes, those are common actions that we do every day. And we can use phrases like I usually, I sometimes, or I always to talk about how often we do certain things. Exactly, Ava. Using adverbs like usually sometimes and always helps us convey frequency. For example, I usually eat lunch at noon or I always brush my teeth before bed. And don't forget about time expressions, Emma. Phrases like in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, and at nights help us specify when we do certain activities. Right, Ava. Time expressions give context to our actions and make our descriptions more detailed. For example, I go for a walk in the morning, or I watch TV at night. And let's not forget about linking words, Emma. Words like then, after that, and next help us sequence our activities and make our descriptions flow smoothly. Absolutely, Ava. Linking words are essential for connecting ideas and creating a cohesive narrative. For example, I wake up, then I brush my teeth, and after that, I eat breakfast. Now that we've covered some basic vocabulary and phrases, let's practice putting them together, Emma. Can you describe your morning routine for our listeners? Of course, Ava. Here's my morning routine. First, I wake up at 7 a.m., then I brush my teeth and wash my face. After that, I eat breakfast and drink coffee. Finally, I get dressed and leave for work. That's a great description, Emma. You used a variety of vocabulary and phrases to paint a clear picture of your morning routine. Well done. Thanks, Ava. Now, let's turn the spotlight on you. Can you describe your evening routine for our listeners? Sure, Emma. Here's my evening routine. First, I finish work at 6 p.m. Then, I cook dinner and eat with my family. After that, I relax by reading a book or watching TV. Finally, I go to bed around 10 p.m. That sounds like a relaxing evening, Ava. You did a fantastic job of describing your routine using the vocabulary and phrases we discussed. Thank you, Emma. And remember, listeners describing your daily routines in English is a great way to practice your language skills. So, don't be afraid to give it a try. That's right, Ava. Practice makes perfect. Well, that's all the time we have for today. We hope you enjoyed our discussion about daily routines and found it helpful. Yes, thank you for listening. Everyone, take care, and we'll see you next time.